Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, I wanted to give you guys a little bit more speculation on 12.11 and why it could even be this week. Guys, I am absolutely serious when I say that because it is very, very possible. Just based off the last wipe and things that happened then and based off PSG's monthly content, honestly, man, it could happen this week. I doubt it. I personally do. I've already given you guys my date, May 20th, but we will see what happens happens so i'm going to be giving you guys a bunch of speculation in today's video do me a huge favor make sure you leave a like on this video here today make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're brand new plenty of new faces to join you in subscribing to the channel i think in the last couple days we've seen almost 100 new subscribers thank you guys so much we're on the grind to 1000 to hopefully monetize this channel that way we can have a hardcore account a zero to millions account whatever other accounts we might want for really cool series here on the channel plenty of content i fully intend making tarkov probably one of my prime you know full-time parts of my little youtube career that we got going here uh main channel aces gaming almost eighteen thousand subscribers over there tarkov is pretty much my baby man i absolutely love it i have more time in this game than any game i've really played before so make sure you stick around and drop that sub bit of a long intro there so let's hop right into things today man so we are going to be talking about first the monthly content that bsg tries to drop they are on a monthly content cycle so last month if you guys don't know we had the stm assault pistol you've probably seen it a couple times around even if you're a very casual player you might have been killed by it a couple times it's a bit slower on the fire rate but we saw this added and we also saw a brand new pistol along with some other items you had the thermite the ratchet wrench the afac some really cool stuff uh we had this pl15 here which is a brand new pistol honestly one of my favorites a little inaccurate when you're firing super fast but i actually really like it i enjoy it i enjoy using it a lot so we had those new guns added about a month ago, and that rough exact date, I believe, was right around March 30th or March 31st. So it's been a little over a month. It's been almost a month and a week, and we saw that brand new content added. So if we're sticking on that monthly cycle when it comes to content being added into Escape from Tarkov, then realistically, we would expect new content this week. And if it's a full-blown patch, then we would expect it on Thursday. Now, one thing that I do want to point out is I've heard in some talks that there's not going to be another 12.10 um, dot something. There's not going to be any more 12.10 patches. So that means the next update that we will see is going to be 12.11. And assuming the factory expansion does not get pushed back at all, then we'll see 12.11 very, very soon, most likely this month. So there is some talk of some tournaments happening very, very soon. But one thing I do want to point out is the Evasion tournament just ended. Really, you have Evasion and you have Pestilis Punisher. I don't know too much about Evasion, but I do know the finals and all that is already over. The last day of it was May 2nd. And Pestilis Punisher 3 was, I think, last month in April. And uh, we won't be seeing another Punisher 4 until around July. Now, I do want to do a slight push back and talk about Pestilis tournament for Punisher 4 because he was questioned uh I think it was on a live stream and this has kind of been going around a little bit that uh will Pestili be hosting Punisher 4 on the factory expansion now Pestili declined that and said it will not be happening and the tournament won't be happening till July now then there was speculation going around such as well if Pestili doesn't want to do it on the brand new factory expansion then obviously um we're waiting for July so he can and I think you guys might be misjudging that one, and I wanted to break that down really quick. So the reason I think Pestili isn't doing the factory expansion is because they just did it on factory, and they may be working on something a little bit cooler. Um, let's say Lighthouse gets finished a little bit early, and I personally think Lighthouse is going to be a uh, close quarters combat and um, you know high PvP map. I can't really think of a Lighthouse, and even if you're on a big-ass island, it just wouldn't work in a non-tight environment. I just couldn't see it happening. So I think Lighthouse might be a really cool PvP style map. And maybe we could see Punisher 4 on Lighthouse. It's extremely doubtful. It doesn't really fit the timeline for July. It's a little off there. But uh, I'm just throwing it out there. But another thing I think they could be working on that BSG would have to do a little bit of extra work for. But let's just say Interchange. Let's say Interchange could be, you know, tweaked a little bit. So in the private servers that BSG hosts for Punisher, they could have um, specific spawns all inside the mall. There wouldn't be any access to Power Station there wouldn't be anything like that. Let's say that safe room and um, there's another extract that could be added for the tournament. It's just an example, but let's say everybody spawns inside of the mall and you can't leave the mall. That is just the way they could do it. You know, something like that. It's not a guarantee, but it's thinking outside the box a little bit. It's being creative. 
So let's just say Punisher could be hosted in Interchange in the mall only. That's just an example. So there could be a lot of other stuff going on behind the scenes with Punisher. I would not base 12.11 off of Pestilli's comments about Punisher. So but now that we're off of that, let's talk about some more stuff. So we talked about, you know, how we're on a monthly content update schedule. Um, it's been about five weeks. We could probably see Wipe this month. If we wouldn't, we wouldn't know what content we're going to see if we wouldn't see the Wipe. If we don't see a Wipe, then we see a factory expansion and, you know, a couple new guns that everybody is just going to go batshit crazy when it comes to chatting out in the new factory. It wouldn't, be inf it wouldn't be fun. It wouldn't be enjoyable for any new player. It would be very fun for me. It'd be very fun for some of my viewers who have 50 million or have, you know, a thick case army such as myself. I mean, stuff like that. When you're rich in the game, it nothing matters. I mean, you could just do whatever you want. And it's actually kind of liberating. But at the same time, you want to get that Tarkov feeling. You want to feel like you're struggling. You want to have a couple rat raids. You want to feel like you're nervous about losing the loot and nervous about dying. That's the feeling we all want and love in Tarkov. So I think it would just be not smart to release a factory expansion on this wipe. And that's just another reason for it. So we either don't get content for over two months, and that goes completely against what BSG is trying to have for their personal schedule to release content and have everything on track. Or, you know, we see the content released and it's not enjoyable. I don't think they want that to happen either. So that's why I kind of think on that end. Now, let's talk about one more thing. I'll get you guys out of here. I don't want to speculate too hard, and I don't want to have a 20-minute video on just all speculative uh, stuff. So the last wipe. I remember sitting here, and I think I made a video right when it dropped. I remember even being on the forum pretty much like 20 minutes after they made their announcement. And as soon as that happened, I sold my entire stash. Well, I've already done that this time around. But the point of that being is... They announced it very, very close to the day of wipe. And that is something we hadn't really seen before. So I think three wipes ago, you know, pre-wipe event was about three days. That's where there's raiders in every single map. If you guys are on your first wipe, pre-wipe is a very, very fun event that I highly recommend you get a piece of. Um, you'll never see raiders on customs and except for pre-wipe. So it's a very, very fun experience to play a customs raid and have raiders that have armor class four and dope ass weapons. Every single scab that you find. It's a very, very fun experience um so getting a little sidetracked there but the last wipe they announced the wipe i think 18 hours before the game was actually going to wipe three wipes ago there was a two to three to four day long pre-wipe event that was very very fun i personally wasn't a part of it i've only been through two wipes myself so i think the very first wipe um that i've been a part of which was two wipes ago i think the pre pre-wipe event was maybe two days long and i actually only played one day of it and, um, you know, it was only two days long. The last one was less than a day. So there is a huge possibility that we could wake up Wednesday and, you know, there's somebody on the forums, an admin of DSG that types wipe tomorrow and gives you the whole entire patch notes list. It's entirely possible. It could 100% happen. Unfortunately, we just don't know. And it's all speculation at this point. But based off everything I've seen, there's going to be a wipe this month, 100%. And if there's not, you can come yell at me. But um, I think it's much, much needed just for the health and overall enjoyability of the game. So that's where we're going to wrap this one up, man. I just wanted to give you guys some more 12.11 speculation. The first video did pretty good, and I figured you guys would love an update and a little more um, credibility on why, we'll think, why I think we'll see it this month. So if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and drop a like on it. Subscribe if you're new around here. I'd love to have you around. We've been doing a whole bunch of different content. I'm going to be interested to see how I can fit more content into grinding out the um new wipe but we'll see what happens man so make sure you leave that like subscribe if you're new sponsor in the description below that's all i got i'll see you in the next one i'm out